Everyone you know has teeth, and they've all had an experience that maybe wasn't the best, but we found some of the craziest, most horrifying dental experiences on social media, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Put this in your mouth for me. All right. I'll be right back, all right, sport? Uh, oh, this all is right. the x-rays. Yeah. Wait. Okay. A suction tube. Doesn't make as much sense. Okay. Where does the suction tube bleed? You know, I never really thought about where does the suction tube bleed. It goes to a trap that collects all the nastiness, but... Okay, that, that would be, that is a horrifying dental experience. I tell you what, like, bro, imagine you just like, you start looking down and all of a sudden your dentist is underneath there just, oh my gosh, dude, I would run. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's her dad. Oh my god. That is another horrifying experience. Imagine like not only having to clean or do work on somebody, but have it be your own dad. And fun fact, I worked on my brother, I've worked on my dad, I've worked on uh, my mother-in-law. You know how scary it is to put your mother-in-law's braces on? It's scary, okay? Hey, how are you? Going to the dentist. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. about you? I'm good. That's awesome. So I assume you've been flossing <laughs> so and awesome. brushing teeth, right? Mm, yeah? Yeah, Something obviously. Something like that? Mm, brushing my teeth, yeah, but flossing? I don't even know nah. if I got floss at the crib. <laughs> right, right, right. So we're going to begin with the flossing. Just Open your mouth real quick, you know what I'm saying? You floss, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you shouldn't bleed. I floss, I floss. Yeah, you shouldn't bleed. Open it, hold up. Shit. Ah! You're being too no, aggressive! Sit still, sit still. I like how he's like ah. cutting into him with a knife. Ah. Ah. Uh. 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 <laughs> you made me bleed. No, no, you need to floss more. You bleeding because you don't floss. That's actually hilarious because I know like that's a big thing, okay? And I understand why you feel that way. Like if you had an infected wound right here on your hand, like a scratch or something, it's painful when you touch it. Weird, I know. So when you have inflammation and you have gingivitis and you have other things inflaming your gum tissue, when we go in with the floss, we actually properly floss, which is all the way up and all the way out, which you've never done before. And so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit painful because it's super inflamed and whatever. And that blood coming out is actually the infection leaving your body. So it's not like we're cutting into anything. It's just the fact that you just have an infection there and you haven't touched it in forever. And so that's why we want to go in really nice and you have to go in pretty deep. It's not very comfortable the first time, but I promise you the more you do it over and over again, that gum will tighten up, everything will be really healthy, and then you won't have any problems anymore. All right, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. All right. <laughs> Dude, this okay. is honestly the worst. <laughs> You see, you guys have your horrifying experiences. Well, we have them too because we're dentists and one of the worst things you can do is put on some gloves with sweaty hands. It is so bad. It just is so hard to do. And it's probably one of the most annoying things ever because standing in front of a patient trying to put your gloves on is not a good look. You're a little too far now. He's just taking a quick look. And... Oh, <laughs> got him! You know my man just let his intrusive thoughts win there. Patient says they found a cheaper way to get there. No way did he just do that. My guy just spray painted his teeth. Look at it, look at it. They actually are pretty white though, surprisingly. But I don't think I need to tell you guys this. Don't go spraying your teeth with spray paint because, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but spray paint is poisonous. And I, I think if you spray it in your mouth, you're probably gonna get like mouth cancer or something. So just don't do it. Worst experience my of my life. Is. Okay. Oh, okay, so yeah, that is kind of normal. I mean, that's probably just grease to allow it to move, but this all looks really dirty. I mean, like, look at the floor. Like, where are you at? This third world country. That is disgusting, dude. Okay, yeah, that is a mess. Oh my gosh, look at that floor. Dude, just stains. Like, I'm saying, if your dental office looks like this, you need to be run. Run this. Okay, yeah. dental yeah, fails. Okay. Oh, <laughs> He's like, oh, let me just go back there and get this massive thing out of your throat. Fun fact, we do drop things down people's throats sometimes. As long as they're not choking, it's okay. You will pass it. You know your teeth are bad when even the dentist is hating on them? Whoa! I'm hating on her teeth. I didn't know I was hating on her teeth. <laughs> Maybe I'll react to a video for her or something. So let's talk about my horrible braces experience. I guess the first red flag is uh, that you had to ask- She was the one that went to a dentist to get her braces done. I was like, hey, my teeth aren't really straight. Is there anything we can do? And he was like, oh yeah, we can totally do braces. He said it was really minor and it would only be six months to a year. First off, nobody has braces six months to a year and that is not minor. She has a full underbite. She's got crowding. She's got class three, which means she's like, dude, that's literally one of the hardest cases to treat. You need rubber bands. 
glands, potentially removing teeth, you need even surgery sometimes. So the fact that he said six months is the huge red flag. Anything under 18 months, 14, 18 months, if they're telling you anything under that and you've never had braces before, you better get a second opinion. He didn't tell me anything about my bite and he didn't even suggest an orthodontist. Basically, if I paid the $3,000- Three thousand, you paid $3,000. I mean, braces and orthodontist is like six to $7,000. So it is more expensive, but it looks like he only did the top teeth. He didn't even care about her bite. He didn't care, like she's literally hitting on the edges. This is terrible. During my appointment, he was always in a rush. I would ask questions and he would just dismiss them. Whatever issues I brought up, he said they would be fixed when my braces came off. In the end, I was in braces for over a year and I don't think any of my concerns were actually addressed. I'm just going to do my own research. I think I have an underbite. So is there any way I can fix Dang. that? And that's sad. I mean, but it was kind of crazy, honestly, that she, he allowed her to film in the office. Because I would not want people knowing about that if it was a case like that. Fun fact, go to an orthodontist for your braces. Set it here first. Please do not go to Turkey to get your teeth done. Let's see here. I mean, those actually look pretty good, to be fair. Oh, uh, they just falling out. So these are like, I think these are their temporaries that they get before they see the real ones. I'm not seeing anything crazy yet. I'll attack the clinic soon. Maybe she's like freaking out that they're falling out or something, but those ones actually look pretty good. But once again, we tell you guys this, we say don't go into like Turkey and go to other places to get your stuff. It's not always the best materials that could fall out, all this different type of stuff. It looks like she's happy. When I was in high school, I was playing Ooh, volleyball and I hit my teeth on a stage and I oh. this one and I got a veneer yesterday. Dang. That's rough. Um, I got a call and my dad Dang, so that's what it looked like. Hopefully this is not his real tooth. It looks like a veneer. He's got veneers on the front six here. Um, and then yeah, you crack them and they just pop right off just like that. That's why we also say don't get those turkey teeth or veneers because you're gonna have to deal with this every 10 years. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a poke around. How's your day going so far? Uh... Don't you love how we always talk to you when our hands are in your mouth? And the fun fact is, is I still encourage you to reply because I can understand words that are mouth garble. I really can. I, I can have a full conversation with someone while they're going ha, 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 ha. I'm like oh that's great how's your mom too yeah good and what did you get up to uh, if it hurts just let me know uh, just a little longer you're doing great so that's actually funny too because we do do that as well like so I'll always be like you know especially when I was a dentist we had to do cavity fillings we had to do things like that so we would be like let us know if it hurts but if there's only like just a one or two percent left and we know we can just like if you're like Argh, and I'm like okay we're just right there let me just get it real quick you know then we can just be done with it and not have to give you another shot just for that last little bit of zip on there so uh yeah i might i might have done that before when i was a general dentist i ah, sorry sorry about that you were going to take some impressions now okay post a trish oh dude it is like that though if there's one thing i'm not a fan of it's taking impressions and i did a lot of retainers for myself all of these crazy retainers and i had to take impressions every single time and i would gag every single time for you guys so because of everything i do you should like this video subscribe and watch the next one or else i'm gonna put an impression in your mouth until you puke bye